Hey guys, this is Hydra from x -Trade, back with another weekly video. And in this video, we'll look over the recent, <clears throat> the recent price action. We'll go over the indices and we'll also look for the stock market outlook in general for April 2024, right? So as usual, we'll start off with the indices, start off with SPY and QQQ. So let's take a look at the daily chart. So it looks like this uptrend Let's see if it's still holding. So yep, it is still holding, but it looks it looks very very stretched, right? It looks like it wants to break down here. So I'm not sure how long this will continue to last, but like I always say, follow the trend until it changes, right? Uh, there's no need. There's no reason to fight the trend right now. We are still acting pretty bullish. We had a very very nice rally here, and then we had a little two week bull flag and then we broke out and this week we pretty much just put in a consolidation bar we put in an inside bar here right so overall indices are acting really well um uptrend still intact so yeah not much else to say let's take a look at qqq so qqq looks a little bit weaker recently um tech looks like it's getting a little bit weaker and qqq actually is losing its uptrend here so that's not the best sign, but um, overall, it's not like it's flushing. Or it's not like there's aggressive selling. It looks like it's just pulling back in very slightly, slightly, right? It's like a healthy pullback, essentially. But overall, um, I would say this is pretty healthy uh, price action. Um, I think I, I think the market looks like it just wants to chop. And uh, if you take a look at the weekly chart, we did have a really, really strong rally, right? Starting from November last year. So overall, I think this is good action. Um, yeah, I wouldn't be surprised to just see a couple more weeks of consolidation. So I think April could just be a very, very choppy month in general. And we could just consolidate. And um, yeah, I think that would be healthy considering the rally that we had in November, right? Or starting from November. But overall, both SPY and QQQ, very, very strong. Um, and how much else to say. And if we do pull back, I think it'll be a healthy pullback. I don't think there's going to be any like uh i don't think there's going to be like a flush or anything i don't think this is a market top i think uh we just want to yeah chop around and digest uh prior gains but yeah let's take a look at some big cap tech stocks let's start off with uh, tesla um so tesla looks like <clears throat> tesla kind of looks like it's forming a bear flag here again if you zoom out this is the first leg down and then this is the bear flag and then this is the second leg down and then this is another bear flag so maybe we get one more uh leg down and then we could potentially bottom but yeah overall tesla not the best um price action and it's still very very much in a deep downtrend so yeah don't fight the trend on this one um but yeah until this trend line breaks i think um, there's no point in even considering longs for Tesla right now, unless you have a bigger time frame. But yeah, next up, let's take a look at Meta. So Meta looks like it's just consolidating this week. Overall healthy price action. Key support level is at that 470 level. Let's take a look at the daily chart. So Meta is uh, in like a short term downtrend here. It's been pulling back for a couple of days in a row now. But overall good action. And yeah, there's a key support level at that 475. If we lose that, then we can cap fill. But overall, Meta is acting pretty well. It's just consolidating its uh, gains. But overall, yeah, Meta also had a very, very strong rally starting from 2022, actually. But yeah. Next up, let's take a look at Apple. So Apple actually looks like it wants to break down here. That, um, yeah, that 169 level was very, very key. If we lose that, then we could definitely see a bigger flush. And we can make we could see a move potentially all the way back down to that 156 level. So um yeah, Apple, you definitely do want to be careful here. If it look if it loses that 169 level, I think this is a really good short setup. Next up, Netflix. Netflix is in a very, very steady uptrend. But last week it also started pulling back just a just a little bit, but overall it's still acting really well and it looks like it's just starting to consolidate more here so overall i would say netflix is uh, acting great and yeah key resistance level 623 key support level 591 uh, next up let's take 
a look at Microsoft. Microsoft is putting an inside weekly bar here on the weekly chart. Um, yeah, overall, Microsoft's acting well too. Did have a pullback last week, but it is holding that 420 level, which is a key support level. So overall, Microsoft's acting really, really well. Uh, and it's acting the best out of all the big cap tech names, I believe. Uh, next up, Google. Google had a very nice rally last week, or in the last couple weeks. But ever since the bottom, uh, yeah, early March, it's had a really, really nice rally. And now it's, it looks like it's starting to like form a flag here. I think Google's the only one that didn't pull back much this week. But Google is forming a really nice flag setup. Um, so yeah, this is definitely a top watch for next week. NVIDIA, the king of the markets. Uh, this one looks like it's pulling back in a little bit more here. On the weekly chart, it looks like it just needs more consolidation. Had a huge, huge rally, right? So just a couple more weeks of consolidation wouldn't hurt, right? So I think overall, NVIDIA is acting really, really well. We just need uh, some more consolidation just because it had such a strong move up. So overall, NVIDIA is still very, very bullish. AMD. Um, so AMD looks like it's forming, an, uh, forming a nice setup here again. If it can clear that 184 level, this would be a good long setup. And it looks like it's trying to break that downtrend. So overall, AMD could be... Uh, a good option here, good short-term bounce trade. Uh, but yeah, AMD overall looks pretty, pretty good, or er, pretty good here. Uh, and yeah, I would buy over that 184 level. All right, let's take a look at some individual names now that have been acting well. But before we do that, we'll take a look at IWM and ARKK as well. So IWM has been acting really well. Uh, still a very, very choppy name, but it looks like it, it wants to go for that 213 level. Uh, yeah, so it wants to go for that 214 level, um, and if it can hit that, then there's a good chance that we'll hit some turbulence there. That's a very key resistance level, so we'll see what happens. But overall, IWM has been acting really well since uh, 20 or uh, since the start of 2024. It's been acting well, and it's in a steady uptrend, very choppy, but still steady. Uh, let's take a look at ARKK. So ARKK is still in this chop here, um, nothing changed. Bullish above that 52.3 level, bearish under that 48.2 level. So still going sideways here. So not bad, not good, just going sideways. And now let's take a look at some individual tech names. Start off with Coin. So Coin's actually forming a really nice flag setup here. And this is one that I really like for next week. This is a solid setup. Um, but yeah, Coin's acting very, very well and showing a lot of relative strength. Uh, next up, Dell. Dell had monsters earnings gap up, huge volume, and uh, it pulled back in, and now it's starting to form a little setup here. So if it can clear that 116 level, it looks good for a long setup, and if it loses that 110 level, um, it could be a short trade. But yeah, Dell is offering a nice uh, low risk, good reward entry here. SQ, SQ had a nice pull flag setup, uh, last week did gap up and then I uh, tried to break up a field but it's forming another flag here again and uh, yeah this one looks like one worth watching again for next week on the weekly chart looks like it's ready to break out of this big base so overall SQ looks really really good um, yeah lots of potential for this name Tava recent IPO name this one continues to grind higher and higher regardless of the regardless of what the market is doing this one just continues to grind higher and higher, right? So very, very clear sign that institutions are buying up into the stock. Um, ever since that big volume bar, it's just been in a very, very strong uptrend. So this is a name that you definitely want to keep an eye on. Hood, uh, this stock is in a very, very strong uptrend as well. Had a nice bull flag setup um, last week. A little mini bull flag here. And yeah, it just continues to go higher and higher. Key resistance at that 20 level, psychological level. But overall, HUD looks really, really good. And uh, I do think it needs some more consolidation. There's no good, like, low risk uh, setup here. But yeah, HUD is definitely one to watch. Very, very strong demand for the stock. Next up, LOY. LOY is trying to uh, break out here. Uh, that 780 level is very, very key. If we can take that out and close above, 
then this one looks like it wants to go to 800 and potentially a lot, lot higher, right? And uh, yeah, these are the two key levels, 780 and 743. Next up, CrowdStrike. CrowdStrike is actually forming a pretty nice pull flag setup here. If you take a, if you take a look at the weekly, it looks a little bit better. So this one's really tightening up now, so this one looks really good. Um, yeah, this one's definitely one to worth, or this one's definitely one worth watching for next week. Lift. This one also looks really good on the weekly chart. Had a huge earnings breakout, huge volume. Made a nice flag, broke out. Now it's putting an inside bar here. So this one looks really, really good. Um, yeah, this is another top setup for next week. Uh, forming a nice bull flag here. Let me adjust the flag. Yeah. Overall lift looks really, really good here. This is definitely the top setup. Let's see what else we got. SMCI. SMCI did have a nice rally. Nice bounce off that 850, 850 low. Yeah, around 850, but it's starting to form another bull flag here. So we'll see what happens. Um, overall, it's acting pretty well. And I think if it takes out that 1044 level, this could be a nice short term long play. And last but not least, CGC. This one is uh, wheat stock. Wheat stocks have been acting really well. Um, and MSOS, the US cannabis ETF, this one's also acting really well too. It's breaking out of this base and uh, yeah, nice volume. But yeah, CGC <clears throat> is on my radar because of that volume. Let's take a look at the weekly chart. Look at how significant that weekly chart or weekly volume looks um, compared to like the previous bars, right? Look at the, these bars and look at the previous bars. This is a very clear sign that institutions could be loading up into the stuff. So that's why it got on my radar. And it did form a nice flag setup and then broke out on uh, Thursday. I didn't end up buying this one just because uh, it was way too wide. I want low risk setups, right? Um, but yeah, this one's way too wide. But if it sets up again, then I'll be watching it. So I'm yeah, just watching for it to form some sort of flag here with a tight uh, stop loss. Um, but yeah, this one looks like it has a lot of potential. And this one can easily double or triple, right? So, yep. But yeah, that's pretty much all I have for this week. If you guys are interested in one-on-one -on -one mentorship, feel free to DM me on Discord. But yeah, have a great weekend and thank you guys for tuning in. There's a reason why Xtrades is currently the fastest growing application on the market for sharing financial ideas. With over $2.5 million paid in the last two years to contributors, users are flocking to see what trades the top traders on the leaderboard are sharing in real time. If you're looking to grow your reputation as a trader on the internet or discuss your trading ideas with other reputable investors, click the link below and get connected with the trading mentor today, completely free of charge.